It took me ages to become comfortable with the return. And when I started learning, I went to Spain and my Spanish was horrible and we didn't really discuss this. But knowing what I know now, this would be one of the first things I would teach you if you want to return like the pros. If you look at the pros, and I said to you, who is the best returner? It's not like tennis where a few names might come up. In paddle, you would say all of them return really well. And why is that? And so my next question is, who do you know with winning returns? Nobody. None of the pros are hitting winners on their returns. So nobody has an outstanding return and nobody hits winners on their return. So that's telling you that they all are very solid and they're not going for too much. So our first tip is to get the ball in. Don't try to go for an outrageous winner to the fence or try and hit past your opponents. They are giving yourselves low margin for error and get that ball in the court. So when you're returning and you don't want to make a mistake, you need to aim for big target areas. So you've got different zones on the court that you can hit that you know there's a good percentage that you will get that ball back in depending on your level. At higher levels, you can probably have smaller targets. At lower levels, you probably need to have big, easier targets to hit. The height over the net is a really important factor. At the pro level, you see the guys hitting an inch or two over the net because they're going for a Chiquita and they're against amazing opponents, so they need to hit with that margin for error. At a lower level, you've got more space. You can hit you know, this high, for example, at intermediate level, and you could still hit a good shot consistently without mistakes. At beginner level, it might be here, and you just need to be aware of that height over the net so that you can avoid making mistakes. So you might be thinking that the lob is really high over the net, therefore it's a good percentage. But now, the percentage of that depends on the depth. And if you watch the World Paddle Tour players, they're hitting the ball you know, a foot or two from that back glass, and that is you know, high risk and it's difficult to do. And you as a beginner, you may be comfortable with a lob that lands around the service line. So you, know, you have the same thing when you're talking about the lob, but this time you're talking more about the depth on the court. We get all of our tips from our community because they send their videos into our shot fixers, like the return here, for example, and we get to see what they're struggling with. We help them through improving those shots. And if you want to do the same, you'll find that at thepaddleschool.com. So this tip on court position helped me so much, particularly if you're intermediate or advanced level, this is really, really useful. I always used to think that that separation in the glass is my back court position and it is your back court position for the majority of the shots but the problem is when the serve comes in and it's fast off that glass you often have to step back and play the ball like this off balance but actually if you start one step further back then you've got more time it's easier to step forward and very rarely are you caught on that back foot with the return next time you watch the world paddle tour watch where the players stand for that return and you'll notice that they stand one step further back. And actually, you'll see quite a few players that will also step one more step more central, giving themselves even more space with that glass. So many recreational players are afraid of the glass, so they stand close to avoid it, but actually it's better if you give it a little bit more space and therefore you have more time and space to swing after the rebound. Now I know many players will say, but my opponent hits loads of slice on the ball and the ball dies. If you know that that's gonna happen, then you'll just take a smaller step closer to the glass and you'll open your racket face and prepare your racket early and that will stand you in the best chance of returning that serve. Now, let us know down in the comments what you really struggle with with the return, or if you've got a tip for anyone else to help them improve their return or what works for you. 